Hi, I'm Jim. And I'm Cindy. And, and we're RVing Over Yonder. Well, we are self-isolating during this coronavirus, so we decided that we would work on Over Yonder, our RV. And we don't have an excuse anymore not to do something because we're not at home, so. And we don't have time. We got lots of time. We're going to show you right now what we're getting ready to do. And also want to qualify that when you see the flooring down here, we put the flooring down when we first bought over yonder about a year and a half ago. Obviously, with this current upcoming renovation, the floors are going to have to be reapplied in certain areas. And maybe we can fix what little imperfections you might see on this video. Imperfections? Imperfections. Not that you would ever do something imperfectly. I'm sure it was me. <laughs> Um, but there are little imperfections. Let me turn the camera around and show you what we're talking about. And you'll see Sophie too. <laughs> this is our dining room table. Pretty standard. It's been very useful. For storage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what we wind up doing is these corners we just kind of throw things and uh, they pile up as we're camping. And next thing you know, it's not usable anyway. And really the same thing on the table. So basically, only about from here over is useful. We try to keep that clean. So we've decided we don't need the table. Most of the time we use trays. lap trays, you know, trays, and uh, just kick back and enjoy our food if we're not, if we're eating inside. If, most of the time we eat outside. So we're going to get rid of the table and we're going to turn this section 90 degrees and let it go along the wall. And then we're going to have an L shaped couch so let's get started can't wait and away it goes so you can see that there's a lot of storage inside of it that's my ice machine her favorite thing my favorite thing so we got uh other than Sophie and Jim, sorry. Phillips screws and we're hoping it's not glued to the walls. of the RV and that's what we extended the flooring under the bench with but these are just interlock pieces that uh, once you line them up they lay flat and they're locked and they're very nice and uh, this we got uh, from Sam's Club it's, it's pretty thick compared to a lot of them plus this has a foam padding on the back side and that softens and quiets walking on it. So there's no tapping. Here's, here's the thing about putting this flooring in an RV. The RV flooring is not going to be perfectly flat. And, and I think most all your laminate flooring that interlocks together is designed for a perfectly flat floor. Uh, in an RV, you're going to have a little bit of twisting, a little bit of bowing. And... Uh, maybe some bolts or something that's sticking up just a little bit but anyway you're going to run into a time if you install this where these ends here come together into the groove but the middle is not interlocking and that's where you need this little tool that you make with the 
matching piece on the side of it and that's where you put it in there and you use a hammer and make this an enforcer it's it's, it's kind of a pain and uh you may tend to want to lose your religion because of it but it will go in so as you tap on this and force it it's going to naturally want to draw the board down that's natural so allow it to do that and like we did here we got all the boards in but it wasn't as easy as this right here so just expect that there's nothing unusual about it when you're dealing with an unflat floor now below this new floor is the subfloor that came with the RV and it's OSB board. It's uh, got to be a marine grade because I've not seen any place in it that uh, looked like it was going to deteriorate because of water or anything like that. So it's still in very good shape. An RV is something that uh, is not much different than a sticks and bricks house that you can maneuver things around and, and you can remodel it pretty much like you want to even use furniture right out of a store that was designed for standard sticks and brick house so you don't want to be afraid to tackle a project like this you have a, a older rv what you have to realize is that you can use all your basic uh, carpentry and electrical and plumbing skills that like you would in a normal sticks and bricks home um, but there's going to be some times that you run across something that don't work out and it, it can be overcome don't be afraid to to try because of that sit back take a look at it and you'll figure out just how to get it done and you can have a wonderful sense of accomplishment and pride in what you've done now once cindy and i finish the floor we're going to put the bench back in place and secure it to the floor. And uh, we'll be just about finished. We had flooring here. Now we've extended the flooring to where the bench was. They had carpet and everything you might have seen under there. And we took that out. And this is how they look after we put them together. After getting this far, I thought maybe we could try to make a day bed out of it. I agreed with her, and so I cut a piece of plywood to fit into the corner, and I was going to utilize the strips of wood that the table normally would set on. I installed two dowels to secure the corner board to the bench and place the leg under the corner for support. Since one of the back quick cushions was being used to finish out the day bed on the bottom, I took this as a perfect opportunity to order some new cushions to go along the back. Amazon is my friend. After completing the day bed, we had one final voice of approval. Is yeah, she going to like it? She's looking around. She's thinking. Yeah, she's turning. Yep, she likes it. I think she might like it a little too much. Well, we'll leave her there for a little while. I hope you enjoyed that little project as much as we did. We've got a lot more in store for us. And it looks like we'll be having a lot of time to do them. Right now, we're just going to sit in over yonder. We're sitting in our driveway during this isolation period and relax and enjoy watching a little TV or just sitting here talking. Whether we're camping in the woods or sitting in the driveway, it's still very enjoyable. One thing I want to reiterate to everyone watching is 
If you've got an RV, an older RV, and you want to make some modifications, don't be afraid to do it. If you got some of the basic skills, then uh, you'll you'll be okay. okay. Not only that, but you'll feel awful proud of yourself, and it'll make you feel really incredible because you've done it yourself. Exactly. Um, you might see a mistake that nobody else would see, but you're still going to have that wonderful sense of pride that you only get by doing it on your own. Yep. We, we like this arrangement so much better than when we had the dining room table in here. And uh, we're very glad we did it. And speaking of taking a lot of pride and doing it yourself, I can't wait to show you the full tour of Over Yonder. I just think you're going to, um, it's older, like I said, but we love it in here. We've done a lot of modifications since we got it. And like I said, it, it's comfort, it's home, and we can't wait to show it to you. And that will be coming up shortly. We think Coachman did some good planning when they planned the layout of this uh, Class C motorhome. If you enjoyed this little video, give it a thumbs up. And please hit the subscribe button below. And even if you didn't like the video, if you at least like admire us for trying to do this renovation, give us a thumbs up for that. Um, we're going to keep on trying. Like I said, we want to make sure that what we do is fun and informative for you as well as for us. And please leave any comments below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them down and we'll be glad to answer them for you the best we can. Also, we'd like to invite you to uh, take a look at our website, MickeyLynnTravels.com. We've got a lot of information on there, and I think you'll enjoy it. If you have friends that RV also, please invite them to check out our channel. Or they don't even have to RV if they just travel. They can stay in a hotel. We're going to be sure to give you some travel tips and info for this area, and we'd love to share them with anybody. That's right. Now, upcoming, when, when everybody can get out and about, we got a lot of uh, information to put out there and things that you can see and enjoy in this area. And we'll be showing you some of those videos soon also just to get your appetite um, up a little bit for all the wonderful things in this area. And always remember, life takes you places. And love brings you home. Until next time, stay safe and be careful. And always keep everyone in your prayers. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm tired. My brain's on overload. I don't know why. But. We've enjoyed it, whether it's in the driveway or in a campground. It's no fun. Excuse me. Okay. We can put that on there how to properly sneeze. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to.